they don't call West Virginia wild and wonderful for nothing, and the Cooper's Rock State Forest outside Morgantown, West Virginia, is a prime example of what a wild, untamed land this can be. Although only a few miles away from the busy college town of Morgantown, this drive up the mountains to the Rocky Overlook, transports you into a different world. The road through the forest to the Overlook is magical in its own way with trees overhanging the very well-maintained access, the Overlook itself has plenty of parking and is a short walk on a paved path. With access for wheelchairs as well, it meets the needs of all visitors and with a forest playground can provide exercise and enjoyment for those too young to really enjoy the view. The Overlook itself is built on a large rock clinging to the hillside above the Cheat River Canyon with plenty of room for all. Looking around, you see the full breadth of the canyon with trees of all hues and types surrounding you. The forest is said to be named after a fugitive that hid out in this area in the 1800s near these sandstone cliffs. A cooper by trade, he continued to make and sell barrels from his mountain hideout. The state forest was officially opened in 1936. Many of the structures, and the overlook itself were constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the Great Depression. I've been several times with my drone, usually early in the day so that I never bother any visitors, and you can see the precarious position of the overlook in this image taken from above. I called this one vertigo. It is hard to get a handle initially on what you are looking at. Is this taken from that side and a set of stairs from one platform to another perhaps? No, it is the bridge out to the rock. The full breadth of the canyon can be seen in this panorama looking past the overlook towards Cheat Lake and Morgantown. Before I took this picture, I had no idea that there was an equally large rock down the side of the hill below the overlook. There are many people who visit this area to learn and practice rock climbing, I'm sure this is on their list of great crags to climb. Looking in the opposite direction up the river we see the valley winding towards the distant hills of West Virginia. Unusual cloud formation in this one. On different days you can often see mist in the valley, especially early in the morning. This can add some great contrast with the trees as they start to change color for the fall. Flying closer to the river can also create some fine views of the valley and the trees with the mist floating above the water. This one nicely shows the flow in the clean river as it makes its way towards the lake. The view towards Morgantown can also be spectacular at any time of year, but particularly in the fall. Here the river is making its way towards the lake with the city spread out across the plain in the distance. If you feel like a stroll through the woods, the trail to Raven Rock is worth the time. Perhaps a 90-minute walk there and back, you get different views of the gorge including this moody one off the rocks into a smaller valley on the opposite side. Finally, I'm always looking for the unusual shot. Who knew that the famous mountaineer can be found at Raven Rock?